Andy Murray has come out to speak on the issue of Djokovic and Australia and the establishment are not too happy about it. Usually, uh, when it comes to this culture that we have, <coughs> cancel culture, in showbiz, Hollywood or sports, uh, when one man goes down, the rest of uh, all the former friends and allies and colleagues abandon him. Just, they're just jump ships because, well, he's, he's, he's been cancelled now. Let's just basically kick him while he's on the ground. Well, Djokovic and Australia are having this massive row. Australian government saying that, well, we, we have this is our rule of law. You know, this is the regulation we have. You should just accept it. Uh, some people say that when the law is wrong, then you, should, you need to speak out against it. That that argument is still happening. Obviously, he's uh, he's been held by Australia. They're trying to deport him now. They he can't play uh, in Australia. In, in, and he's been out basically he's been uh, eliminated from the tournament his friend Andy Murray the one of the best uh, British British tennis players we say British uh, tennis players who's come out to express his opinion I was expecting people like Andy Murray to either stay quiet because of fear or yeah just completely abandon people like Djokovic but nope he's come out to say he's concerned about the whole situation he says I think everyone is shocked by by its, uh, the whole thing, to be honest. He has told the reporters in uh, Melbourne that I'm going to say two things on this just now. The first thing is that I hope that Novak is okay. I know him well and I've always had a good relationship with him and I hope that he is okay. It's really not good for tennis at all and I don't think it's good for anyone involved. Now, it's very subtle, but it's very direct. Uh, firstly, he's uh, indicating that I'm not abandoning my friend Djokovic. Uh, secondly, he's saying that did this whole weird kind of up and down different tiers of regulations depending on countries, especially when it's irrational. Uh, the entry rules is not good for tennis, but it's also not good for anybody else involved. It, it means basically the wider society overall. Now, a lot of people are now criticizing um, Novak Djokovic because they say, well, he doesn't really care about the whole public health crisis and, you know, just, yeah, leave him, ignore him. That's one side. You know, the, the people who are always going to dislike him, they dislike him anyway. Some people are now seeing him as a libertarian hero. <laughs> and that's then, including his own dad, because his father came again yesterday to say, this isn't a battle for Serbia or Novak. It's a battle for 7 billion people for freedom of speech. So on the one hand, he and his dad have become this hero of libertarianism. On the other hand, people who uh, are still very scared of uh, coughing and sneezing, then they, they say that, well, he's the, he's the bad guy because he broke the rules. And then there's some people in the middle who completely misunderstood the whole story. <laughs> Tennis, like Australia, the whole association they have, they gave him the exemption. The two separate panels uh, gave him the, uh, the medical exemption. So it's not just that... Um, oh no, I'm, I'm going to exempt myself because I caught it, I was infected a while ago, now I'm, I'm tested negative now. That's not why he came in, it's because the documents that they gave him was that, that there's a problem with um, paperwork and you could blame either the Djokovic side uh, for not really double checking things or maybe they knew they were going to go into trouble but they did it on purpose or blame the Australian government side uh, for not clarifying with their own tennis association to make sure that they're on the same page. Doesn't really matter because even if Novak Djokovic was wrong, the law is wrong. You still need to criticize the law. When it's wrong, speak out against it. Don't just say, well, law is law. You just have to accept it. 1930s Germany had a number of like laws that if you were to just say, well, we need to accept it. If the government says this is the regulation. If that's the case, we'll always have to surrender to authoritarianism. You can't just surrender for the sake of it. I don't know what, we, what you guys are going to think, because again, this, uh, the subscribers that we have here, you guys are also very uh, diverse in terms of your thoughts, and this is why this makes this channel better than Novara Media and the Left Wing channels, because we actually have diverse your thoughts and ideas. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel. I'm MyTC, and we are the media.